What is up guys, my name is Meeps and what we're doing today is that we're going to break down how to play Vayne ADC. So Vayne is one of my absolute favorite ADCs and she is what most people consider to be a hyper carry. Uh, Vayne is a ton of fun to play and she is really really rewarding if you know how to play her. In this guide we'll start off at a very very basic level which means that anybody at any elo should be able to follow along. Don't let that fool you though, because by the end of it, you will have the tools you need in order to master this champion. Throughout the guide, we will be going over the abilities first, then we'll look at advanced mechanics, how to cancel animations, etc. Then we're going to be looking at house player during laning phase and during team phase. I will not be going over which items to build or which runes to take, because these things change really, really rapidly. So this is simply to not mislead you guys instead i've put a link down below in the description for which items you should build when you should build them and so on so basically this guide should be relevant until this champion is reworked if she ever is but yeah without further ado let's get started To get a good understanding of when to pick Vayne or not to pick her, we'll just very briefly go over her counters and what she works well with. Keep in mind that when I say a certain champion counters Vayne, then it doesn't mean you can't pick her. It only means that you're probably gonna have more of a struggle. First of all, I would recommend avoid picking Vayne into very aggressive ADCs, such as Caitlyn, Draven, Twitch, Quinn or Corky, especially if these ADCs are combined with its strong crowd control support, such as Leona, Alistar, Sona or even Lux. As a general rule of thumb, then Vayne is countered by heavy early game pressure, which mostly comes from champions that outrange her with their auto attacks or abilities. However, keep in mind that Vayne is very weak in the early game, so she's close to never chosen for her laning phase. So when you guys do pick Vayne, then think about the mid to late game. I have two questions I always ask myself before choosing her. The first one being, can I get through laning phase against their bot lane without falling too much behind in CDS? The second one being, does my team comp enable me to carry in the mid to late game? This often comes down to if your frontline is strong enough. In my opinion, Vayne is pretty weak in glass cannon teams, at least if your enemy is of decent skill. I prefer picking Vayne into champions like Lucian, Severe, Israel and generally tank heavy team compositions. In terms of which supports go well with Vayne, then I would strongly recommend crowd control or sustain champions such as Thresh, Braum, Nami, Janna, Lulu or Soraka. If the enemy has a bot lane that can shove the lane in very quickly and then poke you on the turret, then it can be advantageous to have a strong poke support like Lux that can somewhat try to negate the push by poking at long range, making it more risky for the enemy to harass you. Next up, we'll briefly go over Vayne's abilities to create the foundation needed to understanding her advanced combos, which we'll be going into just after. First off, we have Vayne's passive ability called Night Hunter. Night Hunter gives Vayne additional movement speed when running Thorts and enemy champion, making it really easy to chase down your prey. Vayne's Q is Tumble, which allows her to roll a short distance in any direction and making her next attack deal bonus damage. Good use of Tumble will enable you to reposition, dodge, kite, chase down your enemy or even fall back faster. Vayne's W is called Silver Bolts, which makes every third consecutive attack on an enemy deal additional percentage of the target's maximum health as true damage. This ability is truly what makes Vayne absolutely melt any target she attacks. Vayne's E is called Condemn, and this ability knocks an enemy back and deals damage. If the enemy is pushed into a wall, then they are stunned and take additional damage. Good use of this ability combined with Tumble can completely change the outcome of most fights. So mastering how to use this ability is very much worth it. Vayne's last ability, also known as the ult, is called Final Hour. And this ability gives Vayne additional attack damage and triples Night Hunter's movement speed for its duration. 
Also, Vayne gains stealth for a brief moment every time she tumbles, while final hour is active. Vayne's ult is really the topping on the cake for her kit. The extra damage combined with the invisibility makes her able to kite any target really easily or even chase down a target with the triple knight hunter's movement speed. So now that we know how every single ability works, it's time to learn in depth how you can truly abuse it by mechanically outplaying and outsmarting your enemies. The first mechanic we're going to look at is what I like to call the cancel queue animation. This is a very simple but very useful mechanic for optimizing your damage. Basically, Vayne's tumble is cancelled if you're positioned up a wall and you tumble into that wall. Due to the fact that Vayne can't roll since she's blocked by the wall, then it actually cancels the animation, hence getting the bonus damage attack fired faster. The second mechanic is what I like to call the lane poker, literally because you're going to poke people away. The way this works is that you start off by firing off one of your auto attacks, then Q for the second stack of silver balls, and then lastly you fire off your E condemn, which will apply the last stack of silver balls, erupting the silver ball stack and pushing the enemy away from you, making them unable to poke you back. The third mechanic is very, very simple, but I still feel the need to mention it. I personally like to call it the Silver Balls Joker, which is basically auto attack, tumble auto attack, which results in the Silver Balls erupting and applying extra damage, thereby winning most trades. Next up is my favorite mechanic, which is honestly a total game changer, especially in the early game for setting up a gank for your jungler. This combo is what I like to call the E Flash combo. The E-Flash combo is super simple to pull off and very hard to avoid when pulled off correctly. What you need to do is simply E before you flash and use your flash to reposition yourself at the angle you want the Condemn to hit. It's a really effective way to ensure that you hit your stun and start off the engage on the right foot. Another combo is the Q-Flash combo, which in my opinion is pretty useless. But hey, who knows, maybe you'll find a scenario where you will find it useful. What you do is basically identical to the E-Flash combo. You just Q before you flash to cancel the animation of the tumble. The next mechanic is the auto attack. E against the wall, auto attack. This combo is not that often used, since you mostly rather want to fit in a tumble, which we'll be looking at just after. The scenario is where you want to use auto attack E against wall auto attack for the silver balls proc is basically if you know that you have to reposition the second your opponent leaves the stun. Maybe to dodge something like a blitz or a thresh hook or something like that. The final mechanic and what I consider to be the ideal combo to go for when engaging on a target is the auto attack tumble and then condemn them into the wall, maximizing your damage and stunning them. Do remember that you can combine this with the tumble into the wall to cancel the Q animation and thereby even further obbing your damage. However, it is pretty rare that you can cancel your animation in this combo, but do remember that it is possible. So now that we've got a pretty good handle on Vayne's mechanics, we'll be looking at how to play her during laning and team phase. Alright, so Vayne is pretty strange to play during laning phase. And in my opinion, this is why most people struggle with her, especially at lower elos. Vayne is straight up one of the weakest ADCs during laning phase, at least at the moment. Usually you should not win lane fights unless the enemy bot lane royally fucks up. But let's break down Vayne's laning phase. Vayne has two power spikes, the first one being in level 1. She can actually duel other ADCs pretty well at this point, but I would strongly recommend not to do this since this often leads to desperate plays that basically comes down to a coin toss. The next power spike is at level 6, and she is weaker than almost all other ADCs until then. So do not, and I emphasize, do not fight unless you absolutely have to. The only scenario where you want to fight pre-level 6 is if the enemy team misplays and basically gives you the kill, or if your jungler comes to your lane to gank. 
In other words, as a Vayne, you need to focus on farming and not losing tower early. Most importantly with Vayne is to not fall behind or at least fall too far behind. If you come out of lane with zero debt and somewhat decent farm, then you can actually consider your lane one. Usually as a Vayne, you'll see two types of laning phases. The first one is where you are heavily pushed and due to the extra time on the enemy's ADC's hand, he or she will try to harass you as much as possible. During this type of laning phase, you need to play as defensive as possible and just get as much farm as you can under turret. The second type of laning phase is much more uncommon and mostly happens if you have a strong poke support on your team. This is the laning phase where you actually push the waves and forces their ADC to focus on farm. In this type of laning phase you should try to get unpunished harass onto the enemy team which means hitting the ADC whenever he goes in for farm. Also don't underestimate the potential of hitting a support if he walks in range. The reason why this laning phase is much more uncommon is due to the fact that Vayne does not have any AoE damage to push minion waves and her general wave clear is rather slow. Through our laning phase I recommend that you guys make use of the mechanics I showed you, especially using the auto attack tumble plus condemn combo is really efficient for poking since the knock away will ensure that you don't take much damage while you get a full silver balls proc onto your target. Anyway, to summarize really quickly, you should aim to play defensive and safe throughout laning phase, or at least until level 6. If you want to go for engages at level 6 you can, but you really don't have to, and most often it's better to play it safe and just farm, since decent farm and not getting shoved out of lane on vein will basically ensure that you will power spike more than the enemy bot lane in mid to late game. As I've mentioned, Vayne really do power spike in mid to late game, so next up we'll break down how to play Vayne during these phases. Vayne has two general tactics that she can perform during mid to late game. The strategies are pretty straightforward and simple. I know this makes it sound like she's easy to play, and let me set the record straight, she really isn't. Vayne is one of the most difficult ADCs to play, but also one of the most rewarding and fun to play if mastered. The first tactic focuses on team fighting. This means you want to strive to always stick to your team. So what you need to do with this tactic is that you have to wait patiently for your team to start the engages. You should never be the one that goes in first. Also as a rule of thumb, at least as a newer Vayne player, I would strongly recommend that you do not use your Q for anything else than kiting, dodging and repositioning. You shouldn't use it to dive in on the enemy team since as soon as you come out of invisibility they will most likely punish you very hard. In team fights, your main priority and target will most commonly be to take down the enemy frontline before proceeding to the backline. There are several reasons for this. For one, you have shorter range than most other ADCs. Secondly, Vayne is a hyper carry that actually melts tanks more than most other ADCs with the exception of Kog'Maw due to her true damage from Silver Balls. This means your job is always to stick behind your frontline and hit the closest enemy. Once you've mastered this, you can start to work on assassinating the AP or AD carries during team fights, but this is very difficult and honestly even for higher elo players I wouldn't recommend it since it has a tendency to become a coin toss unless you really know that you can rely on your team for backup. The second tactic is split pushing as vain. The split pushing tactic relies heavily on trying to force one of the enemies to that lane so you can 1v1 them since you should come out on top almost every time, especially if you hit your E into wall combo. Personally I recommend that you stay away from this tactic at least until you've gathered a good amount of experience on Vayne. Uh, since you basically have to 1v1. Once you try out this tactic then focus on performing the split pushing tactic in the mid game and then transist over to the team phase in the late game. Also if you go for the split push tactic then make sure you know how to split push since it isn't as easy as going to a lane pushing. It has to synergize with what the rest of your team is doing. 
I might do a full separate video on split pushing if, if this is something you guys would like. But a common issue is that a lot of people tend to split push when there's no other pressure on the map, which results in the split pusher getting ganked by three or more enemy players. Anyway, summing up, I would recommend that you guys strive for the team fighting tactic since it's an easier way of learning Vayne while also taking full advantage of her kid. Vayne shines in team fights, so if you ask me, make use of it. So guys, that is going to be it for this champion guide. I really, really do hope you guys liked it and learned something from it. If you did, then make sure to smash that like button in the face and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Uh, and make sure to hit that little bell thingy because that will ensure that you get a notification as soon as a new video comes out. Uh, I have a lot of new content in store for you guys. I'm currently working almost around the clock to make videos for you guys, apart from my full-time study on the side. Uh, so it's going to be really cool. There's going to be a lot more champion guys. There's going to be more full gameplays, more skin spotlights. And yeah, just in general, a lot more cool content. And I would love to hear you guys' opinion in regards to what you like or don't like. Or if you have any suggestions for videos you would like to see or something you would like to learn, just tell me in the comment section below. I will respond to you guys as soon as possible. I do really strive to respond to everyone. But yeah, with that said, all I have to say is stay awesome. Have fun and take it easy. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul.